Hi, you guys. So, um, I just wanted to pop on and just beam at you. <laughs> um, at the end of our banner day today, um, I can't go into details. I wish I could share details with you so that you could more fully appreciate um, what what God has done for us today, but um, it's, it's personal and I really can't. But what I can tell you is that um, one of these battlefronts in particular was very personal and has been going on for a long time. And um, we have had, in addition to that, we've had numerous, multiple battlefronts in our lives, just a lot of attacks of the enemy coming at us, um, in rapid succession. Um, and we've been standing and praying and speaking the word. Um, and, uh, you know, I want to say w without wavering, but, you know, there's been moments of, of where it felt like it was almost overwhelming, but, um, but God has, God has carried us and seen us through and strengthened us and sent words of encouragement at just the right moments. And, um, if you know him, you know that this is just what, what he does. He's good at that. And, um, but anyway, um, and then when that particular, the one really personal, um, victory came, um, we were just, just super excited. And then, um, and then we unexpectedly heard that there was another prayer that we'd been praying um, that was not quite as personal, still had some personal impact, but but really was it was a broader for more than just us. And um, and we we found out that God has answered that prayer also. And it was just like, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> and, um, and so we decided to go out for a celebratory dinner this evening. And um, um, Ted was in his, um, his um, uniform. And um, when it came time for us to pay for our meal, uh, the waitress said that somebody had paid for our meal. <laughs> and it was like, what? That's so awesome. It was like a, it was like a cherry on top. It was like a God wink. Just, I mean, if the day had not, I mean, that had not already been good enough to have somebody pay for our, our meal, a random stranger, um, was just really, it was just really awesome. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to get on here and just just give God glory. I want to just thank him and praise him for his faithfulness. He spoke um, throughout this process, has spoken many words to my heart. Um, King, King, settle down, buddy. Settle down. Settle down. Our big puppy is very zealous. Settle down. King, nine. Um, Anyway, he's, he's just, you know, spoken many words to us through this, through these battles and, um, and, you know, our faith has been tested. Um, and especially this last week I was telling Ted, I said, you know, I don't talk about this. I don't share openly my struggles all the time. Um, some things I just feel like I don't even need to voice, but for at least the last week, the attack of the enemy against my mind, where it felt like the enemy has just been taunting me concerning words of prophecy that I've spoken, things that I have said that that this is what the Lord says He's going to do in this situation and in this situation, and and um, and very confident in the moment that I'd heard from the Lord. And speaking those words with boldness, but then as more and more time went by and it seemed that there was no resolution coming in these areas, um, the enemy really began taunting me and trying to convince me that I didn't really hear from God and you're playing the part of a fool and, and you're going to be put to shame and just the, just the stuff, the cruel things that the enemy will sometimes throw at you. Um, and, 
Uh, it's been very, very, the mental assault has been very intense for me. And, um, but I've been standing and, and fighting against those lies and re 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 rejecting those lies, but it's been, it's been, it's been tough. And so, uh, today to have these, those things that I prophesied that I said, um, to Ted, this is what the Lord says he's going to do in this situation to have it come to pass, um, was very, uh, encouraging. It was very encouraging. And I feel like it has dealt the enemy a swift kick in the lips, <laughs> uh, which I'm all about doing. So anyway, I pray that, and I'm, I'm sharing this with you because, um, you know, I know that, that I know that there's a lot of people within the body of Christ, um, who have, who have been really struggling with dis discouragement as you look around and you see what's going on in our nation, uh, the temptation to give up hope, to, to start thinking that all the prophets are wrong and we're stuck in this situation and we're going to lose all of our freedoms and America's never going to be the same. And, you know, the hopelessness, um, is for some people has the temptation has been palpable. And so I just feel like even though this, these victories that we've experienced today are, are not broad, are not on a broad scale. They're, it's not national. They're more personal. Uh, I still believe that you can, that you can glean some encouragement and let it, let it bring some hope. Let it breathe fresh life into your hope that God is faithful. And if he has said it, he will bring it to pass. And there are so many things that have been spoken over this nation and over your life that God is going to follow through on. He is going to keep his promises. He's going to do it. Just continue to stand and refuse to give up hope. All right. I love you guys. I love you very much. Thanks for watching and thanks for rejoicing with us.